This lesson, we're going to be updating the Google UI and selecting images, adding them directly into our Google Doc, wherever the cursor location is. So we've got a selection of three different images that we can add. So there's two that are actually sitting on my Google Drive. And we're just using the IDs of the images and bringing these images directly within the doc using the Google Apps script and also selecting the other image. So it's going to be the other image that I've got. That's uh, DPING. And then lastly, how we can make a request to a web URL and add the image in whenever we click it. And that's going to be adding in this third image. So these two images are actually the same. And one is sitting on the drive. One is a web image that we're bringing in with Google Apps Script. Let's go ahead and create a brand new Google Doc. And this is going to be a bound script where we're going to be adding an image into the doc. So give it a name. I'm going to call it test doc image. And we're going to be adding to the UI menu. So you can add in some test content if you want so that there is some content within the document. And then selecting within the tools under the script editor, that's going to open up the script editor interface. Going to give the project a title, so image adder. Make the font size bigger. And you can access the command palette by selecting anywhere on the empty area within the script areas. And that's going to open up the command palette. And this gives you some more options. And so currently, I'm just making the font size larger. So give the file a name. And then you have the default function. Within the default function, we're going to run an on open. And the on open method allows us to run a block of code whenever the document is open. And because this is a bound script, it's going to be referencing this document whenever it opens up. The block of code here will run. What we want to do is we want to add to the UI menu. So using the document app, let's get the UI menu. And within the UI object, we want to create a menu, adding in a caption for the menu. And I'm just going to call it adder and adding an item into the menu. So just do it on a second line. So adding the item. And then once again, we need a label that we want to uh, have for the user. So just have it as logo. And the function that will run will be named add logo. So once you've completed all of the items to the UI menu, you can run the function add to UI. And so this statement now will add that main menu adder and then adding an item into the menu with the name of logo that's going to run a function named add logo. So let's go ahead and we're set up the function. So give it the same function name as the string value that you want to run. And we want to select the current cursor object as we want to add it in to wherever the cursor is located. So within the document app, get the active document. And then we just want to get the cursor from the active document. So selecting the get cursor. So it's going to return back a cursor object. And we want to make sure that we do have a cursor object that is ready before we try to add content in. So we want to add in an image. And there's several different ways to add in an image. If we have a web URL is located, so I'm going to go ahead and add this image in. It's located on a website. And I'm going to bring it into my project and then add it into the Google Doc dynamically with the app script. So going back into the script, we want to select and make a request for the image. So let's set the image URL. And that's the image URL, the path to the image that we want to select. We want to select that image and get it in a blob format. Once you have it in a blob format, then you can make use of the content in a number of ways. You can also store it into your drive as well. So going to the URL fetch method and then using fetch is going to make a request to where we have the URL. And we want to return this back as a blob object. And for now, within the logger log, Let's run and we'll see what we have for the blob. So make sure that we do get the correct request to the URL. And they're also going to be accepting permissions to use the fetch object. 
So run the code within the menu here at the top where we select the add logo. And now this is gonna make the fetch request to the URL for the image and then return it back within a blob format. So first we need to review the permissions. So go through the review the permissions, giving the script the permissions to run using your account that you're writing the script with. And it gives you a list of the permissions that have been provided. And we're returning it back as a blob. So what's in, once it's within a blob format, that means that we can get and add it to wherever the current cursor value is. So let's select that and add in the image from the URL to wherever the current cursor is. So we've got the cursor object and insert inline image is the method we want to use. And we want to insert the blob image at that location. So go back into the dock and move the cursor to wherever you want to do the insert of the blob. We also have to add and run the on open. So you can do that manually. So that will add the UI menu into the page. There's our UI menu adder. Under adder, we've got the one function logo. So we've got the cursor at the location. Let's click the button and we'll see what happens. So we made the request to the web URL and return back the image. There's also a way that you can upload the image to the drive. So that's another way that you can add the image. So I'll add a few, another option within the script, and this is actually gonna be the same image, but we'll run another menu item in order to add it. And this is gonna be logo local. So that way you can use a local image on your drive, or this should be. So we're gonna be adding a logo from the G drive image and running the function. So to update this to be function one, and then we'll duplicate that and make some updates to the code to run it as logo two. So in this case, what we wanna do is we want to select the image from our Google Drive. I do have the image uploaded, and it's actually gonna be the same image. Uh, so this is the DPNG. So first off, we're gonna to need to have the ID of the image. You can get that from going over to the image and selecting share of the image. Go down at the bottom where it says get link and select the copy link. So that's gonna provide you a link to the image location. And this is also where you can get the ID from the image as we're gonna be using the Drive App service to get the ID. So post the link there and remove out everything after the or before the D slash. And this is the ID for this particular image that I'm selecting. And then we can also remove out the slash view. And that remains us with just the ID value. And so now we can use this ID value in order to return back the image object. So once you have the image, we can use the drive app service to get the blob from there. So using the drive app, get the file by ID. So this is file by ID, and it's actually file by ID that we need to use. And then we've got the ID for the file within the variable ID. And then lastly, just get the blob. And then the rest of the code is the same where we're inserting the image at the cursor and we don't have to use the logger to log out the blob anymore. And you can also shorten this as well within the one statement. So we'll do that after, after we make sure that it is working. So let's first update the UI menu. So we'll run the on open. So that should add the second option to the UI menu. Let me get rid of this image. So here we've got the logo. So the logo and then the logo from the Google Drive. And looks like there's an error with the code and it should be a get file by because we're only selecting the one file. So try that again so it can dismiss the error and get the file from the Google Drive. We're gonna to have to accept authorization the first time it's run. So go through, select continue, and then go through the steps of allowing the script to run using the Google account. And we've got the permissions that have been added. And once that's allowed, now we can go to select the file from the Google Drive. And now it's adding in the file from the Google Drive and we also have the option still running that's adding in the same file, but this one is coming from the web location. So that's how you can add images at the cursor location using Google Apps Script. So you can do that with any image, and I'm just gonna go adding in, updating a new image, and we'll get the link again from the image to get the ID 
of the image or you can select it from the link area here. So just select copy the link and I'm going to just update the ID value for the adding in the new image and you can swap out images this way or you can add multiple options for images and we'll do a, another one actually we're going to do so there's the ID let's duplicate the function we'll make a third option for the function and this is going to add in another image a different image so update the UI menu and what we function we want to run so it's going to be add logo 3 we've got the ID for the logo so we can do this all within one statement so it makes it a little bit shorter so there's the ID so we don't have to assign a value to the ID and we're getting the blob from the drive app so we can just add that in as well as one statement so that shortens some of the code there that we were using and now let's uh, add that UI item into the menu and now we can select and add the new image in so this is the new image that I just uploaded and we have a selection of different images there's a couple from the drive and then one from the web that we're adding in to our Google Doc so go ahead and try it out to get more familiar with what you can do with Google Apps Script